In my neighborhood, Commonwealth Theater Center is there and they are open and they are ready to teach us and to learn as well. Paula Lockhart joining us, uh, director of Commonwealth Theater Center, teaching artist. You all are getting ready for Fairview. It's a stage reading series. Explain to us all about Fairview and all about your about your stage reading series. Awesome, Don, thank you so much for having me. Um, a stage reading, I'm gonna explain that first. Um, a stage reading is a production where we are really just focused on the words. Um, in our production, you will see the actors in, um, in chairs and in stools reading um, their script with music stands. So it's a bit, you know, stripped down, a more intimate uh, version of theater. It's really awesome because you get a chance to really just hear the words without the spectacle of costumes and set and that's fun too but this is just a little bit different um, so Fairview um, is a play by Jackie Sibyl's Drury um, it actually actually won the Pulitzer Prize for drama and it is a show where we examine um, how we are viewing ourselves and others in situations it's about family it's about how we are able to make space for others while also maintaining space for ourselves it's all about the view, honestly, fair view, making sure that um, we all have, we all are in this world giving everyone the same chance that we'd like to get. So with Fairview, um, is at Commonwealth Theater Center. Um, this is a free stage reading, and it runs January 20th through the 23rd. Um, you can RSVP online at commonwealththeater.org backslash ideas. The 20th um, through the 22nd, it's going to be at 7.30, and then on the 23rd, it will be at 2. And after that performance, we will be having an amazing talk back with the cast and creative crew of Fairview. You. Okay, so boy, I've got so many questions here, and I hope I hope we get <laughs> I hope we get them all. In. All right, here we go. So when you talk about it, you kind of take away all the trappings so we can focus on the words. I know that you you know this is teaching artists, but is giving that focus view more so for the audience or, those, or for those artists that are actually doing the reading and learning their craft? So it's both. Um, in professional theater, we see stage readings happening as like development. So whenever, before a play gets to Broadway or before we even see it at Humana, um, you have stage readings so the playwright can hear what's happening and then make adjustments. So with Fairview, this is a perfect opportunity to see to see and hear this script um, and let our students experience that but then also let the audience experience it as well as we ease back into you know having full-fledged productions mid-pandemic sometimes i feel like through the arts whether it's you know a production on stage or it's a song that i'm listening to or a poem or a piece of art that is on canvas Sometimes I feel like our brains and our heart are more willing to listen, experience, and learn from that than we would maybe having a full-on conversation with somebody that we don't agree with. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Because, you know, we take art in with a different lens. So it's the, to me, it's kind of the idea that, like, art is kind of, some ways like spoon feeding different ideas to kind of get you to think differently. Whereas when someone is like having a conversation with you, whether it's something you agree with, or you know, most times when you don't agree with something, that can seem a little heavy, right? Um, with art, we have the chance to like, you know, ease people into different ways of thinking. Now, mission is free, but you mm -hmm. all need to make sure that folks RSVP because you're not going to be able to have as many people in that space, right? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. COVID capacity is 35 people um, per show, so please RSVP online. Um, our, you know, the safety of our cast, our crew, and our patrons is first and foremost. So we are um, at limited capacity. What do you want folks to know about Commonwealth Theater Center? If 
they've not taken the time to or, or had the opportunity to see you all. What do we look forward to coming? And I know we don't know everything because Lord knows what's going on in this world. But what do you want folks most to know about what you all do and how do we keep up with you? So what I want people to know about Commonwealth Theater Center, um, aka CTC, um, is that it is truly here to be a beacon for um, our young folks and our uh, and our adults. We have adult acting classes as well, um, who are trying to break into the arts. You know, there are so many great spaces in Louisville, and I want Commonwealth Theater Center to be considered one of those great spaces where you can bring your um, bring your children, bring your loved ones, and come and experience theater. And and learn about theater and maybe you can just try a class out and if it doesn't work for you that it doesn't work that's okay I want everyone to know that Commonwealth Theater is a place that you can learn and grow and and explore your artistic ability all right we appreciate you all certainly and thank you so much for sharing with us and when you open up a little more we'll be talking to you again so you can tell us all right what's going on and again everybody sees the information there on the screen, commonwealththeater.org. Thank you, Paula. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. All right. All right. Everybody.